Hi, Jenny here. Today I'm going to show you how I did my manicure. So I have some cute little flowers and stripes. And so I thought I'd take you along and show you how I did that. I'm mainly going to be using Halo Taco products. It's from the company Halo Taco. It was started by Christine. She has a channel called Simply Nail Logical. She used to do a lot of nail art on there and then got into doing some other different kind of videos. And but she still really liked painting her nails and was able to start her own nail polish company. It is a really good product. I like the quality of it and the durability. My manicures will last a week or two and really not chip at all. So I appreciate that nail polish and I keep buying it and that's the type of nail polish I usually use. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's get started. For this manicure we are going to use a long lasting base coat. What do you pink? Essie's Blanco, because I ran out of Halo Taco White, Butterscotch Hop, and Such a Vite Top Coat. And then I also have uh, the brush for cleanup. So if you get any paint around your cuticles, you can clean up. And the thin striping brush. Whee! They all roll away. <laughs> And then one of the dotting tools that's got kind of a bigger end on it and a medium end. And also some type of like a yogurt lid or a baggie or something that you can um, put some of the nail polish on so we can use our dotting and striping tools. All right, make sure you go to the bathroom first so that you don't have to go while your nails are wet. <laughs> and I already did put the base coat on my nails so that I didn't have to wait for that step to dry. So now we're just going to paint a layer of pink on every nail. Okay, we are going to take some white and put it on our yogurt lid and then dot our flowers on. And then just place some flowers and dot some petals on there. All right, we're gonna let that dry before we put the centers in, but we can also put some stripes on a nail. Put that down. I'm gonna put a little bit more white on here. <sighs> Take your brush and twirl it while you roll it through the paint. pretty flat against your nail and then drag it across.
and dip it each time. I was gonna say, tell me I even have that in my focus area. <laughs> okay, now we'll do the same thing with the yellow. We're gonna put some of that on the lid and we're going to dot the middles of our flowers. With that same dotting tool, instead of using the big side, we're going to use the smaller side. To get some paint on the cuticle and stuff. I know a lot of people will clean it up right away. It's probably better. I like to wait till I'm finished with my whole manicure. So I have some um, acetone nail polish remover. I'm just going to pour a little bit in the lid. Got a cleanup brush, piece of paper towel. Dip it in there. We're just going to wash the brush with water and while I have this out we'll clean up our, our other brushes. And then same after we're done with cleaning them up with the acetone, then you just want to run them underwater. All right, that should pretty much just be dry already. And we're going to put our top coat on. I have used the hollow taco top coats before. And they're okay. I just still find that the Seche Vite dries the fastest out of all of them. There it is. Pretty cute.